a Kenyan soldier was today killed by the M23 rebels. And according to the story, the first Kenyan casualty in Congo, part of the ECRAF force, also known as the East African Community Regional Force, that are peacekeeping uh, in Goma, was killed today by the M. Ventura rebels. And that is the official story. So they say the fighting in east of DRC, a Kenyan soldier from the East African force was killed. And according to the AFP, this is what they said. They said that there were some violent crashes that broke out the day before today, that is yesterday, which happened about 20 kilometers north of Goma, mostly that is the region around uh, Burungu, or the way as you go to Kichanga. So that is uh, Kichanga territory. And the fighting was between the Congolese army and groups of fighters calling themselves patriots fighting the M23. So the Congolese army has partnered with the local militia called the Wazarendo, also known which is the Swahili word for patriot, and they've been fighting the M23 in that territory. And some three weeks ago, as I said in a previous video, they killed about 1,000 M23. They reduced the number of the M23 by about a third, you know. A third of the M23 were killed in a, an operation that took two weeks. And then what I followed is that Rwanda started sending their own soldiers across the border to reinforce the M23. And as you can see from these photos here that I'm showing you, these are drone footages or the screenshots of drone footage that was taken by the Congolese army. So it came from the presidency account in Kinshasa, the, their X account or the Twitter account. And they showed the images, a lot of them, of Rwandan troops crossing from Rwanda through the Virunga National Park because this national park is shared between these two countries. So they cross through the Virunga National Park and come to Congo then. Once they get to Congo, they change. Sometimes they change their uniforms. Other times, like this time, they didn't bother to change their uniforms. So they joined this M23, which we know they are actually Rwandan soldiers. A lot of people know that. We know that. I've been saying it. And once they now change themselves to become M23, they start attacking. And the incident that took place today is that after this was a random militia killed close to a thousand M23 that were there in Burungu and Kichanga and Masisi, Rwanda sent about 500 soldiers from their side, according to the drone footages. And these soldiers came with heavy weapons. As you can see from this photo here, these are an anti-aircraft man part, a version of Igla. It's a Chinese version of the Igla 9, right? And this is the same man part that they used to shoot down helicopters in that part of Congo. And they also carried mortars. You know, mortars, they are those, you know, you know mortars, right? It looks like this one here. And it was during this time they were using mortars to shell the positions of the Burundi, the Congolese, and Wazarendo that they also started firing at the positions of the Kenyan soldiers in Kibumba intentionally because they knew the Kenyans are patrolling that road in Kibumba. They have been doing that. And they started sharing the Kenyans intentionally. And, and I said these are not Congolese rebels. These are Rwandans. These are Rwandan soldiers. So, so we need to be factual this time. Let's not, you know, spread the same lies that Paul Kagame in Rwanda spreads on international news, news media. These are Rwandan soldiers that were seen on Saturday and Sunday crossing the border as per this drone footage. And today, three days later, they are using mortars to shell the position of the Kenyans. And they know the Kenyans are there. They know that these Wazarendo militias are not there. The Wazarendo militias are in uh, Burungu, which is the western side of this Nyiragongo annex, the Nyiragongo mountain annex. The Kenyans are on the east, east, eastern side. And they shelled where the Kenyans were, and Shrapno from the mortars hit one of the soldiers and killed him. 
So that is the latest news. That is what is happening in Congo. And I don't know what will happen, but the Kenyans need not lie. They need also to respond. If this war is going, be, and that's what Congo has been saying, you can't maintain peace when a neighboring country is actually sending their troops across the border to attack and kill innocent Congolese. If you want to help, then you need to fight. It has to be combat. 